Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. We're uh, watching this bird. Oh, he flew away. He keeps coming to the mirrors on the cars and fighting himself. So we've been sitting here watching the bird. All the dogs are enjoying this beautiful morning. Memphis is over here. She's been watching the squirrels, right, Memphis? She's like, guys, there's been squirrels, and it's been great. Got down to like 50 degrees last night, and today it's supposed to be, what did it say, 80 something? I don't know, it's supposed to be warm today. We're chilling out here for a little bit, and then I think, I think, we're gonna pack up in a little bit and go for a ride and go out to the lighthouse. Mr. Thor's on the line with the girls. He's like, I'm just gonna hang out right here because this is great. Yeah? It's actually really nice out right now. The weather is beautiful right now. The big lake right there, Lake Michigan is right there. And we can feel the breeze coming off the lake, which is one of the things I've always liked about this campground is it's kind of nice and cool here. Well, at least for the most part. The bird's back. Let's see if he'll do it before he flies off. See him? <laughs> so he sits on top of the rearview mirror and then he jumps down and fights with himself. Crazy bird. The dogs are all like, this is the greatest TV show ever. <laughs> we are going to Mission Point Lighthouse, hopefully before it gets too warm out because it is starting to get a little warm it's out. out on the peninsula. It is. So we'll be surrounded by water again. Yes. And the lake is cold. So we're driving out to Mission Point Lighthouse and I love this road for two reasons. One, you get to see Grand Traverse Bay, and it's just, it's so beautiful driving down this road. Look at this. It's beautiful, and it's a really nice day for this. And we get to drive by all the cherry trees and the wineries. And it is definitely really houses on hills. Yeah, like, there's some, some wicked houses back here. Look at this one. Yeah, uh, Keiko, yeah. built on the hill. So there's lots of houses built up on these hills so they can see the bay, and then there's all these little cabins, little houses on the bay. But this is a really cool road. I like driving on this road. Yeah. I could just stare out this window. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. Look, Memphis knows. She's like, I'm just staring out the window. This is a great out. Love it. Look, there's a fruit stand. They don't have any fruit yet, but there's um, some grapevines and some cherry trees. We're following a tractor. So it worked out pretty good. I'm like, oh look, we're following a tractor. Now we can show some of these rows and rows of cherry trees. With They got little baby cherries on them. There are little tiny green cherries. No, nope, they're not quite ready yet, but they're there. There's the boxes for cherries. Hi, farmer. Yep, they got all kinds of boxes. For, oh, those are huge cherry trees compared to the ones we were just looking at. Oh, yeah. These are huge. So there's cherry trees out here and grapevines, and we're heading towards the lighthouse. What are, what are your dogs doing there, hon? Yeah. They're like, there's chipmunks and there's squirrels. There's chipmunks or squirrels, yep. Uh-huh. Eleanor's like, wait, what are we doing? Where are we, what are we, oh, going this way. Look, Thor's already figured it out. You girls need to figure this out. <laughs> so we made it to the Mission Point Lighthouse. And we've been told there's lots of little dead fish down here. So we gotta keep the dogs from eating the little dead fish. And lots of little bugs. Probably because of the dead fish. Oh yeah, they're all over. But apparently they're an invasive species fish. They're everywhere. Don't okay, even so think about it. Huh? Yeah, I don't think I want to let them go that way because they'll eat them fishies. <laughs> Memphis is like, but dad, there's fish. Now I could eat them. Just let me get a little closer. Yeah, she's going to go for it. <laughs> Eleanor's oh. like, I just want to touch. She's got one. She got it. Yep. <laughs> she's like, and I ate the fish. It's gone now. Uh, at least you got to see the water for a second. Watch out. She's going for the dead fish. Oh, yeah. And she's gonna get that one. Eleanor's more interested in the water than the dead fish, so I guess that's good. Dead fishes and little bugs. Look at how many how many more rocks we can see this year from last year. That's how much lower the lake is. I don't think it looked like this last year. No, I don't think there is this many rocks uh -uh, visible. I don't think so. It smells better if you come this way. Yeah, we get on this side of the fish. All right, well, sorry, girls. You can't hang out on the beach because you're gonna try to eat all the dead fishes. All right, I guess we're staying off the beach because of the dead fishes. But here is Mission Point Lighthouse. It's such a cute little lighthouse. Girls, could you get out of the poison ivy? Thanks. <laughs> Memphis is like, I'm going for the fish, guys. I don't know about you. Yeah, we've come out here many times, but apparently there's too many dead fishes this time around. Too many. We're we going in this way. Uh, Checking pulling. out the lighthouse. Quit pulling. Okay, I don't know where we're going. But... We're going this way. We're checking out the lighthouse. Letting the dogs get some exercise. 
So I was like, hmm, this plant smells real good. Not as good as them fish though. So we didn't get to let the dogs go swimming because it was, um, there was dead fish central down there as you saw. So now we are leaving the lighthouse and we are going to Peninsula Cellars Winery, which apparently the dogs are allowed outside. They're not allowed in the tasting room, but we are looking for some cherry wine because I mean, we're in the cherry capital of the world. We should probably get something, <laughs> right? Don't you think? Yeah, sure. All right, we're getting on the main road. Gotta put seatbelts on. What do you think, girls? I think they're gonna hang out in there because you can't drink wine. <laughs> I mean, you probably would, but we're gonna go check out this winery and you Take girls are gonna chill. Thor looks like he's driving your Jeep. <laughs> all right, you're watching dogs. Yep. Be good. So it's an old schoolhouse and apparently all their wines are named after like school stuff. Oh, we're gonna go check it out. It's super cute. Look at how cute. That one's named Pop Quiz. Oh, they're so cute. Exchange student, that's an exchange student wine. This is super cute in here. I like how they still have the chalkboard. That's pretty cool. <laughs> we got our wines and we're out here sipping them and giving them a taste. Do you feel fancy? I feel like I'm forced to be fancy. It's not in a mug. Pinkies or a, up. Right, right. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that was actually pretty good. That was the rhubarb one. That was, yeah, that was a strawberry rhubarb creamy mid palate. And I mean, then, out of the three we've tried so far, the cherry one the by far is pretty the best. good. So this one's called but Pop I, Quiz. It's oh. a bubbly wine. It is strawberries and bubbles. Yeah, it smells a lot like the rhubarb one actually. Yeah, but it's bubbly. Mmm. You might like that one because of the bubbles. Well, I'll try it. So far, I like that one the best. Yeah. So we ended up buying some black cherry cream soda, which this you can get a lot of places, but we bought some root beer that they actually make here. And then we bought the hot rod cherry wine, which is the one we both liked. So that's what we ended up buying. Kira's like, but, 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 but. All right, I'll come over there. And Thor's like, where's my dad? The winery also had animal crackers, which means you can enjoy a snack from the winery. Animal cracker for you, animal cracker for you, animal cracker for the puppy. Heck yeah. Is that all you wanted was animal crackers? Look at how bad you're all shedding. You're all crazy. Oh, Thor got his dad back. He's happy now. Hey, Eleanor, you wanna go for a walk? How about you, Kira? You wanna go for a walk? <laughs> How about you? You wanna get tangled around tables and dogs and trees? Thor's like, I'm already going. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. So apparently up this road here, there's like a nature trail thing. So we're gonna go walk the dogs that way before the rain gets here. Or maybe we'll scare the rain away. That's what we're doing. We're scaring the rain away. Let's go, puppers. So we're hiking down the bike path and the dogs are just going after every chipmunk and every squirrel and every small critter. They missed the bunny, they missed the ducks. Yeah, there's ducks over there. Oh, that chipmunk yelled at you. Sometimes I wonder what they're saying. Thor's being so good though. He's not chasing after them things. Oh, maybe one walked over here. We don't really know where we're going. We're walking this path to another path. Jamie and I were just talking about how cool it would be to ride the trikes here. Oh no, I felt rain. Maybe we should turn around. I felt rain. I don't know, it's up to you. Well, if we do that path, we might be stuck in it. That's true. That is true. Yeah. I said, oh no, it might rain. <laughs> I said we were talking about how cool it would be to have the trikes here. Yes. We might have to figure out a way to make that happen. Yeah. We didn't beat the rain. <laughs> it's starting to rain right now. So we did not beat the rain. We didn't scare it away, but we tried. But we're walking anyway. Who cares? It's just rain. We'll just get a little wet. So it looks like a big rainstorm is moving in. And because we're planning on moving campsites tomorrow, we waited till it got dark. And now we're packing up and hitting the road. So we're going to pack up, hit the road, head home, and get ready to go to the next campground for tomorrow. But we're actually going to go home tonight Get some stuff done. I got some mail to pick up and then we'll head up to St. Ignace tomorrow afternoon. I left your leash on. Come here, I'll take it off. So the other reason we're heading out of here tonight is it is going to be 91 degrees here tomorrow. It is already a little humid. We're cranking the AC in here to get it nice and cool. Look, I got this new thermometer thing. It tells me what the temperature and the humidity inside the RV is. I should have got the one that does inside and outside, but for now, this is good enough. So we got it down to 68 in here, which is pretty good for the dogs. Cooling it down, heading home. Two hours and 20 minutes to get home, not too bad. And uh, 
yeah, we will pack up tomorrow and head to St. Ignace, where it is not supposed to be so hot. It's only supposed to be in the 70s. So this was pretty good timing for us. And yes, Charles and Mr. Thor are following us there. Something nice about leaving Traverse City in the evening. Yeah. That looks pretty. pretty Even though it smells baby. like dead fish. <laughs> Can't smell it from here. dogs are already sound asleep. They're like, we're so tired today. This will be a nice quiet drive home. It's gonna get dark quick, but I think we'll be all right. We've been home two seconds and we're already doing yard zoomies. Are you doing yard zoomies? Yep, yard zoomies. <laughs> Thor was running too for a second. Oh, oh, Garrett! Oh, Go get him, Eleanor. Go get him. Go show him. Say, this is the yard zoomies. We do yard zoomies. Let's do them. Hi, Mr. Tour. <laughs> yep. He's like, him and Memphis are like, all right, can we go inside now? Thanks. <laughs> Whew. So we made it home last night. Pretty much crashed. We went to bed. And now we're up again. We're going to get ready to uh, get ready and see what's happening today. Checking the weather, watching, because we want to go to Mackinac Island. We want to make sure it's not too hot, make sure it's nice for the dogs. So we'll see. But for now, we're calling it a night. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive and dreaming. We will see you again soon. Good night, audience. Are you girls all tired? See, oh man, we're all, we're so, we're so sleepy. We're just, we're just going to nap all day. <laughs> Get your rest, because we're going on another adventure.